I'm joined here by uh, Clayton Brown. Clayton is from CB Heating and also HPIN, the Heat Pump Installer Network. Clayton, welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? It's been busy, hasn't it? Yeah, well, you tell me. How's it been for the last... Because you've been here the whole time. What's it been like for you? Yeah, um, to be honest, it's great to get out, isn't it? It's great to uh, all get together again after the COVID years where we've all been cooped away. So I think there's extra demand coming to this show. And you've been to the show before? Yes, but this is our first time nice as... Close to you. This is our first time as exhibitors. Now, what's your impression? You know, you, you've been to it before, obviously it was at Coventry. Uh, now, does it seem busier, quieter? What was it like? Yeah, I think it's been busier. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I've seen, which is a big difference, is how many heat pumps there are here. <laughs> you know, every, you can't avoid it now, can no. you? You know, Turn around as a heat pump. Absolutely, it's everywhere now. And and how has it been on your stand? You've been busy having some good conversation. I mean, the thing is, it's all everyone having lots of conversations. But how? <coughs> excuse me. Have there been quality conversations? Yeah. Now, obviously, there's a lot, a lot of confusion in the market right now. Yeah. You know, from heating guys looking. You know, heat pumps are now everywhere. You know, heating guys are unsure of what that means for them and what it means for their businesses. So for us at HPIN, that's what we're there to do. We're there to support installers and to work with installers, um, not against them. It's all about helping them and training them and supporting right. them. Now, tell me about you, your background. Well, this is a little bit of insight into Clayton Brown. It's not really that exciting. <laughs> well, I'll do but, it quickly then. Yeah, I'll do it quick. I'll do it quick. So I started CB Heating 22 years ago. I was 18 years old. I just finished my apprenticeship. And I always had a thirst for renewables. And I started off in solar thermal. So solar thermal is what I started. Um, solar panels, hot water. Because that was a real big boom back in those days. Um, and then from there, thought, no, definitely going on my own and uh, started on my own. Bought myself a red postal van, like a postman pack. Bought some tools and that was it, I was off. Brilliant. Now, HPIN, the academy, tell us a little bit about that. How did that all come about? Um, tell us a, a, about it. Okay, well, one thing that we do know is there's a massive shortage of installers. So we've got 130,000 gas safe installers in the country and we've got on average four to 5,000 heat pump installers. So there's a real big, there's a real big shortage in, in the market. And training-wise, there's very little that exists there either. Um, so companies are trying to uh, improve that, trying to make more options available for installers, um, and try and make that transition simpler um, for people. But it's, it's been quite slow. And so how's it going, though, the academy itself? Yeah, well, the academy's going really well. Um, we open up our training centre in Clacton in Essex in the next three to four weeks. It's going to be the largest training centre in the UK, as we currently know. And we'll be able to support 4,000 installers a year through that. It's open to any heating installer, any plumber that wants to get involved in, in heating and learn about heat pumps. It's open to you. And if you're part of the HP Installer Network, the training is absolutely free. There's no charge free. to... Totally and that's free. Because, I guess because you got EDF got involved last year, and is that is that what's underpinning the training, so to speak, or well, partially, I guess. We we always wanted to to train and support installers in a deeper way, but the truth was was it was expensive. You know, we needed investment. We needed we needed some extra support, and EDF liked what we were doing. Um, we were working with EDF anyway. Uh, they liked how we look after our installers, how we look after our customers, and they wanted a solution for their customers you know across across the country three million customers and they didn't really have much of a, a solution so they thought together let's you know we can do something really great brilliant uh, how do installers get involved uh, well, where do they go what do they do is there a website is there what do they do okay well we're here today and we've got our blimp over at the show so follow the blimp find um, the blimp find the blimp or um hpin.co.uk, www.hpin.co.uk. We've got a Facebook group, so if you just want to have a little look and see, see what it's about and how to get involved and what does it mean for you, um, have a look there. Um, come and see us here at the show. And are um, there currently places available? Yeah, well, currently we have 500 installers across the country, give or take. Um, we've signed up three, 400 installers here at the show. Wow. So for us, that's amazing um, because one job a week with us is £14,000 a month. So there's some big money there um, for installers for uh, 
and that's we do all the selling, we do all the design, we do all the specification, we do everything for you so that the installer just has to turn up and install as per our design. Amazing. Net zero, I mean, we've been describing it as a buzz phrase and things like that, but actually how important are heat pumps in the race to net zero? It's, it's, it's all part of the transition to moving over to a, a low carbon future. Um, there's a lot of guys here, obviously I'm still a gas engineer myself, so you know, I sympathize with guys when they're saying, oh, heat pumps, never gonna happen, it's got, hydrogen's gonna be the answer. Um, what I would say to that is, guys, look how many heat pumps there are. Right. You know, well, you said that in your comment right at the start. Exactly, you know, but now they're physically seeing it themselves. So and we've got the changes in the building regulations. So 2025, no more gas or oil in new build properties. So it's going to make a big impact to, uh, to installers' lives. And what would you like to see in the next 12 months, say, to accelerate the heat pump adoption? That's really quite simple. That's, <laughs> that's get trained, get the support, and, and get involved. Because, you know, certainly HPN ourselves, we're, uh, we've got the capacity to do a thousand installs a month, but we need the installers. You know, we can sell, we can design, we can do that kind of level, but we need the installers because without you guys, we, we're, we're stuck. You know, so that's why, you know, we have a lot of guys say, oh, it sounds too good to be true. Three and a half grand an install and you do all the selling. Well, the truth is, guys, is, there's no point in selling it if we can't install it. Right. So, you know, we're using our experience to support you guys and, uh, and help you you know, move towards a greener future. So why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> good question. Brilliant. Yeah, good question. First time anyone's ever said I've asked a good question, but thank you very much for that. Well, listen, Clayton, I wish you the very best of success. And obviously, it's obviously good because EDF wouldn't get in, in, into bed with clowns, so to speak. And so they obviously respect what you're doing and the initiative you're taking. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And, you know, for what EDF have done, we thank EDF for, for their investment in us. But when you're looking at the other energy suppliers, what they're doing, you know, EDF have a credible solution um, to increasing heat pump installations in the country. So with a real genuine reason, and we're actually doing what we're promising. So, you know, some of the others, it's not quite like that. Brilliant. Well Thanks done. Thanks very much.